On business, the lead consultant on private sector development, ECOWAS Commission, Ken Ife, has called on the federal government to find a solution to the recent 340% hike in the cost of electricity tariff for customers under the Band A category. The hike, which increased from 68 naira per kilowatt hour to 225 naira per kilowatt hour, has triggered dissatisfaction among customers and manufacturers in the country. Rather than raising the tariff, Ife urged the government to remove the tax on individuals who import solar energy into the nation and allow power generation to be determined by the mass market. This is a wake-up call to Nigerians to just go for take power to the to the mass market. We have to take I this was a call that I made within two weeks of the Buhari administration. I went that call I said to a major conference within two weeks, I said take power to the mass market. Let people remove tax on solar related items let them let them invest you i'm sure you may have three houses one in lagos one in your village and one in, in somewhere in one township somewhere you can only sleep in one house at any one time and so the rest of the power you have other places could be sold to the grid so there are people that will prefer to use their money instead of running generator and not having anything back and causing pollution invest it in solar as long as the government will say, okay, in the, in the short term, let us bankroll the cost of a, a meter, you know, hybrid meter that will take this electricity back into the grid and pay them for the electricity, for generating the electricity. And then people will begin to see value in investing in alternative uh, energy supply sources and take that pressure off the national grid. And then, of course, the law has been amended repeatedly. Uh, from from a uh, one megawatt domicilization to eligible buyer and then all to, to know. So it has been amended, but you have to give that decisive push to individuals and everybody, private sector, state government, get into this business and produce power for yourself. And then let us look away from, uh, you know, national greed, because that national greed is, is a monster. And the, the instability is so embarrassing. The, the collapse, systemic collapses are so embarrassing that we're going to take this as a wake-up call to go and invest whatever we can. Uh, and look, okay, gas is our transition plan. And why are people not going to CNG? CNG gas, the richest, the assets, that, the biggest asset we have as a country is gas. Over, over 210 trillion cubic feet of gas. I don't know why we are dealing with petrol and, and diesel when we should be dealing with gas. You use gas to power the buses, you use gas to power the trucks, and we use gas to produce electricity of all, all sorts. You have generators that are gas generators, and then you get the CGM, uh, CNG supply, uh, compressed natural gas supply. And people should move away from, from those uh, diesels so that we can have, you know, we can build our industries. And so the main industries can't operate at these prices right now of, of, uh, of electricity. 